Hello, my incredible third graders. I'm back again, and today we are going to be learning something new. We are going to start working with fractions. So what is a fraction? That's a question that so many of my first graders always ask me, what's a fraction? Is it Cardona? How does it work? And I always said, don't, don't worry about fractions just yet because they're really hard. Well, the truth is they're not that hard if you actually follow the steps and pay attention. So this is what a fraction is. I'm gonna write a fraction right here and it's gonna be three fourths. There you go, that's a fraction. So whenever I'm going to think I'm going to stop right there. These numbers have a name. The one on top it's called numerator. Numerator. And the guy at the bottom it's called denominator. Denominator. Very good. So these are the names. We have the numerator is the guy sitting on top and the denominator. Okay. So whenever I think about these two guys, I like to think about I like to think of them as if they own a pizza company. Yeah, that sounds really weird, but don't worry. It, it will become easier as, as we go. So the denominator is the guy at the bottom, okay? So I'm gonna leave a, a D right here so that we don't forget what his name is. So this is that denominator, right? Denominator, very good. And we should, we should work from there, there you go. So we have numerator and denominator, okay? So. I'm going to draw a little square right here. There you go. And there's, it's a re rectangle actually. And I would like to call, this is a whole piece, right? It's a square. So I would like to call this a whole. That means that it's a complete unit. It's a whole square. So I would call this a whole. So I want you to take a look at these two numbers right here. I like to think of them as if they live in a house and the house has two floors and they sell pizza. The guy at the bottom is the guy who cuts the pizza. So I'm gonna write here, cut pizza, okay? The guy at the bottom is the guy who cuts the pizza, the denominator, he cuts the pizza. And he's going to tell me to cut it into how many pieces? Four, he is four, so he's cutting the pizza into four pieces. So I'm gonna try to, the, the parts that I need to, I need to split this hole into four pieces, okay? And I need to make sure that the pieces are of equal size. So I'll do my best. Bzz, boom, I have two. And there you go, I have, I have divided this into four pieces. I used, I had a whole square and the denominator told me that I should divide it into, into four pieces. Now, the number on top also has a job. I told you they are partners, they sell pizza. So they need to make sure that there's always pizza, right? But the guy at the bottom is the guy who cuts the pizza. Then the guy on top is the one who eats the pizza. He has the easy job. So I will say eats pizza. So the, the number on top, the, the numerator, is the one who eats the pizza. And how many pieces does he eat? Mm -hmm. You guessed it, he eats Oops, sorry, three pieces. You see, it's three pieces. So I need to show you guys that he ate these pieces. How am I going to do it? Well, for each piece that he ate, I'm gonna color it. So one, two, and three. And that's my friends, how you work a fraction. That's how we create a figure for a fraction. The number at the bottom, the denominator, is the one who tells me into how many pieces I should be cutting this pizza. Four pieces, one, two, three, four. The number on top is the guy who tells me how many pieces of this pizza I should be allowed to eat. And he told me to eat three pieces. How many did I call her? One, two, and three. There you go. So that's how you work a, a fraction. It's not that hard, actually. Whenever I tell kids that it's really hard, it's just because I want to scare them and I want them to pay attention. But you guys are really smart. So I'm just gonna do another one, and you guys are gonna help me, and with the third one. Let, let's let's. I'm gonna do the second one on my own, and then you guys are gonna try to help me with the third problem. So for this one, I'm going to write five, six. That's a five and a six. Again, they have a job. I told you each. These two guys have a job. The one at the bottom. He cuts pizza, cuts 
pizza. So I should draw my pizza first, a whole pizza. Okay. I'm gonna make it square because I don't know how to how to do something round and divide it into equal pieces. So he cuts a pizza. Into how many pieces do you think that he's gonna tell me to cut this pizza? You guessed it, six. So I'm gonna make six pieces. Oops, I'm sorry. I need to make sure that my, whenever we're working with fraction kiddos, we need to make sure that we try to make each piece as equal, um, equal in size as possible. So I already have my pizza right there. And I divided it into six pieces because the guy at the bottom told me that I had to cut the pizza into six different pieces. Now the guy on top has another job. How many of you remember what his job is? The one at the bottom cuts the pizza, the guy on top eats it. So I'm gonna write here, eat pizza. The numerator is the guy who eats pizza, okay? How many pieces did he eat? Well, you guessed it right, he ate five pieces of pizza. So how am I going to represent the pieces of pizza that he already ate? I'm going to shade him. I'm going to color how many pieces? Five, because he ate five pieces. So one, two, three, four, and five. There you go. I have a pizza that was cut into six pieces, and then the guy on top ate five out of those six pieces. And how do we read, oh, sorry. How do we read this fraction? Five, six, okay, very good. So right now, you guys are going to help me. I know that this is probably super easy for you guys, so I'm not even worried. I know that you guys won't have any problem trying to solve this, the following fraction for me. What I'm going to do is, I'm gonna write it here on my board. So I'm going to write um, eight tenths, okay? So that's the fraction that I want you to work on. But I'm going to label, I'm going to give them the names. The guy on top, remember, it's called numerator. Numerator. And what does he do? He eats pizza. So I'm gonna put here in parentheses, eats pizza. What is the name of the guy at the bottom? Do you guys remember what the name of the guy at the bottom is? Correct. The name is denominator. So I'm gonna write it right here. I'm gonna write its name. And it's denominator. And what is the job of this guy? What is the job of the denominator? Well, you guessed it right. His job is to cut pizza. Very good. So I have eight tens. I have my numerator and then I have my denominator. Now I want you to draw the whole pizza. And now you can pause the video and try to solve it for me. Remember, the guy at the bottom cuts the pizza into how many pieces? The guy on top eats the pizza, pizza or shades the pizza into how many pieces? Well, follow the arrow and solve my fraction for me. I want you to work on this on a piece of paper, with pencil and a piece of paper. And tomorrow, Wednesday, you guys are going to bring it to the afternoon meeting and we are going to double check all your work, okay? Have a wonderful day. You can pause the video right now, by the way, so that you can work on this. Thank you very much, guys.